It was only two generations ago that your humble ancestor oversaw the extension of our long defensive wall at the remote site of Jia Yuquan. Since that time, the spread of Buddhism has taken hold in the empire's capital of Luoyang. The new regent, young Emperor Huan Di, wishes to make use of your immeasurable talents. He has decreed that an impressive temple complex be built here in the capital of Luoyang and that Buddhist shrines and pagodas be added to the city's wards so that our citizens may pay proper homage to Guan Yin, the great Buddhist Bodhisattva. The loyal citizens of Jiayu Guan will no doubt be glad to trade quantities of stone for more wood, silk, and a useful new commodity, paper. This marvelous new invention can now be made through process of soaking, pulping, and drying hemp. The tax collectors are already making noises about the usefulness of paper and its superiority over the halves of wood they had been recording their debits and credits on. Now all they want is paper. Make sure they have it in good supply, or our city's finances will suffer. Hey guys, welcome back to Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. We are here on the budding of Buddhism, still on the Silk Road, which I think is the final mission in the Han Dynasty. And this one seems like a pretty economic one. A temple complex must be built, produce 24 reams of paper in one year, eight menagerie animal types required, 42 months of heroes, and treasury of 85,000. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go to the city. And we are actually returning, let's pause the game, returning to uh, this city here, which I think so far, although I have to admit, it's not a very pretty city, but it's probably the prettiest city that I've made. <laughs> uh, so it's looking pretty nice. Uh, so we got to make a lot of money. 85,000 is not that much. And uh, well, Right, we have all of these forts, right? We have this huge silk industry, but paper, paper, that's something new. Let's have a quick look here. We are here in Luoyang. We were at Jia Yu Guan in the previous mission, and they sell hemp stone steel. Stone? Oh, uh, okay. Uh huh, uh huh. Do people buy paper? Since we will be producing paper, right? Does anyone buy paper? Maybe they don't know about it yet. Maybe it's just us, yeah? Yeah, it's probably just us. Oh, Chang'an? Oh, we can't interact with Chang'an. Okay, Chiao Shou. Okay. Now, paper. Let's check industry. Is it artisans? Paper maker. So let's just place one down. And this requires hemp. Oh, okay. I was thinking wood. And our tax collectors? Stored wood. Okay. So it's still using wood. But will... It continued to be restocked with wood is the question. Let's check. Let's build a tax office. No paper. Okay, tax collectors are gonna need paper from now on. So we need to get paper up here, into here, and into here. So paper there. And it's from hemp, which we do have two hemp farms and a nice surplus of hemp. So how do I, how do I make this work? I guess, uh, huh. I guess it would be quicker if I do actually attach that and I roadblock that so that I can produce paper around this area. So can I put down an inspector's tower you must relax. right there and hook that up like that, roadblock there, there, and there. So an inspector will walk down this way and then I can put... How's our employment? Oh, plenty. Okay. So then I can put... Six? That should be plenty, right? And I should probably... Now, I assume we're not going to get another flood on this map, but... I could just add another one of these. Let's unpause the game. Let things run and increase our hemp production. Bam. Look at that. Paper is gonna be on the way. And also, that means we don't need wood anymore, right? So I can get rid of these woodcutters. I should have another one over here, right? We don't need any more woodcutters unless we need wood for... 
Right, we don't- we didn't build any catapults because catapults don't work in this game. <laughs> they only work for the enemy. Okay. So weapons will continue coming in. Where are we? We're producing weapons from here. We are importing, right? Buying 12 units of steel a year, buying some salt, right. Okay. So overall, this seems pretty straightforward. What else do we need? The menagerie animals and also heroes. So we need to get a god in here. This is, oh, Guan Yin. This is the new god, right? Guan Yin? What does Guan Yin do? Buddhist. As the Bodhisattva, Bodhi, Bodhisattva, there we go. Guan Yin is the greatest Buddhist deity in China. She is revered and here are prayers, uh-huh. Uh, when she's active in the city, halves building costs of wells, gardens, flowering trees, wayside pavilions, ponds, tai chi parks, and private gardens. She fun functions like a water carrier. How interesting. She can bless wells, evolving it, and houses, which lowers unrest level. Increase the city health, so not actually very useful. So let's just try and get any old person in here. We are probably... Oh, we have plenty of silk, right? Yeah, just... Let's get Nuwa in, right now. Ah, okay, wait, did I... Did I miss something on... Guan Yin? Oh! Finally, she halves how much it costs for you to bribe invaders away and how much you pay in tribute to an overlord. Oh. Oh, hey. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually useful. Though, looking at the map here, it says I have four shields and the largest threat is three shields in the Xiongnu Empire. So I think if I just keep my military building up like this and slowly bringing weapons in to train troops, it should be fine, right? We can actually still build more. Like, I could fit more military forts. Uh, we also need money, so... Uh, bai Gong Fu of Jia Yu Guan would be honored to ally with you. That's a good point. Who are our allies? Cooperative. So I could... Congenial? Apathetic? So I think I should start handing out... Oh, that's good. Nuwa arrives. We need gods going around. And we also need the temple complex, which is huge! Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to figure out where this goes. Probably over here somewhere? Maybe over this side? Uh, okay. Like, I could... Can I even fit it here? I don't think it'll fit. The rocks are in the way. Do I even have a choice of where to put this? I think I don't have a choice. I think it has to go over here. Alright, so I'm gonna go figure out how to fit that in and uh, then uh, we'll just keep going. I think the money target shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, and I think the paper makers should be going around soon. A lot of paper's been dumped. So yeah, we definitely need more hemp farms coming in, but uh, yeah, it should be fine, should be fine. Guys, I messed up. I built this wall here at the end of the last time, and I didn't realize, I completely forgot that that was sort of uh, being protected from here with the inspectors, so <laughs> my market fell down. Well, let's get the food shop down. Minimum food, appetizing food. We're gonna need our hemp shop again. Uh, we're gonna need our ceramics shop. And we're gonna need second food shop, right? Okay. And these have run out of... How have you run out of herb? We have so many herbalists here. Why are they always walking down the same way? The acupuncturists don't have that problem. How do I... Okay, look. These houses will re-evolve and then it'll be okay. I'm just gonna have like so many herbalists here. This block is too big. Guys, next time you build a block, make it so it's not this big. Because the herbalists just can't walk that far. Three herbalists are on this block now. Jeez. Anyway, it's harvest season for hemp. That means all these paper makers are gonna get going. We've got some paper in. 
food has come back in. And also, uh, I was looking at this. Look at this. We've got three types of food here. So if I so desired, I could no longer have to import salt. But right now, it's kind of still easier importing salt. I also put down one more hemp farm here. So we have four hemp farms, which should be plenty. Right? It should be. Where are they delivering all the hemp to? Why is none coming into here? I mean, where do they send it to? Are we selling hemp? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've... Are we selling hemp? We have bought so much rice here. I can't remember this map. It's been a while since I've played, but oh well. I, I think the hemp will eventually end up here. It should be fine, right? Should be. Because currently we don't have any hemp in this market. All these houses have re-evolved, so that's good. That should... Oh, unemployment's still fine. Okay. And we are just paying normal wage rates. The hemp is being delivered to here first? That's set to getting. Oh, because that's set to getting and this is set to accepting. That got priority, I see. So I'll just set them both to getting and it should be fine. Okay, okay, it's fine. One, two, three, four, okay, yep. Job vacancies. I might have to, uh... No, I don't need to build anymore. Actually, no, I probably do need more housing. No, no, I can just increase wage rates, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, now I needed to get that temple going, so I guess we're just gonna clear off these trees right here. You know, this road is sort of not required at all. I just clear this off. Could I fit the monument right here? Let me check. Monument, temple complex. I can. It won't be the prettiest location, but I don't have much choice here. I don't really want it so close to the edge of the map, so this is probably better. Right? Right. And then... Yeah, right there, I think. We're just gonna have to set it up here. Bam. And we need to start with road access. Five stacks of wood, 20 carpenters. Oh, so we do have a useful wood. Okay, so we're gonna just build all the stuff this thing needs. These uh, labor camps can probably go along this cliff here. Maybe up here. Maybe near these rocks. Yeah, we can fit some, we can fit some. Feng Shui for labor camps is always the most tricky. Okay, so we've got a location for our temple complex, and so we can get that started. Has the hemp started to stockpile? Hemp's still being shifted around. Did the hemp get in the shop yet? No? Oh no, there he goes. It's just about reaching here. There we go. Okay, okay, I think we're stabilizing. We're producing a ton of paper. I'm not exactly sure why I'm producing so much besides this goal. Did we get the panda? Nuwa. Did you... I told Nuwa to... Capture animal. Hunting animals. Okay, there we go. Pleased. Okay, let's just make sure Nuwa stays here. Have some silk. Okay, just a little bit of silk. Okay, I, I think I misclicked. Yes, please go grab that panda. So I have a gift to send people. Is panda the only thing on this map? Because we need eight menagerie animals. Only pandas, huh? So we do have to request for them. Okay, so I'm gonna get the pandas sent out and get this monument started and just produce a ton of paper and our money's still gonna be going up, so it's fine. All right, let's keep on going. Would you look at that? Jia Yuguan needs paper, and we have that in stock right now. Let's dispatch that. Okay. <laughs> now, um, one problem. We're short by 333 workers, and I'm a little confused as to why, but I think a bunch of houses devolved, kicked people out, and now, yeah, see, all these houses are really empty. All over this block. They're really empty. Did they run out of hemp or something? Did they run out of... What happened? You can see some people moving back in, but I think to stabilize this, I need to build another housing block. Just something small, nothing fancy. But I think I need another housing block. Uh, 
I'm, I'm kind of actually out of space. Can you believe it? I've built so much that I'm kind of out of space. I mean... Yeah, it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. I mean, maybe I could squeeze it down here. If I clear off all of these trees, I can fit a nice little riverside housing area. I mean, it won't be so much of a problem once everyone moves back in, but everyone moving back in, that's gonna take a while. This hemp has run out as well. Are we just really using up way too much hemp? Oh, by the way, Jia Yuguan does also buy paper, so that's great as well. Not sure if I produced 24 this year, but... Okay, hemp is still coming back in. Is the hemp supply here okay? Is the hemp supply up here okay? I think it's fine. Okay, well I've got all of this sort of running. We just need the stacks of wood coming in. And I guess I should clear off as much of this as possible until the employee situation stabilizes. You see, it is sort of slowly stabilizing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna clear off this forest here. And did I get that panda? I did get that panda. I forgot, I keep forgetting to send off. Okay, you know, let's just send a gift. Everyone gets a panda. Everyone. I don't know which region has pandas, which ones do not have pandas, but if you can get an animal, you're gonna get a panda. And then we're gonna ask for animals back, and then we will see if we have enough animals. I think we need we need eight, right? So that's almost all of them. And Lo Lang as well. Yeah. All of you. Pandas for everyone. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay, surprisingly stressful, the start of this mission. Markets collapsing, houses devolving. Oh, maybe I... Uh, money's still going up, so that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. How much does paper sell for, by the way? 125? That's actually not bad. I think I will cut back on paper production after this year. Just to make sure. And Jia Yuguan likes us better as well. Okay, yeah. Let's keep on going. Oh, would you look at this? Zhao Shou wants to enter the city. What is it? Permit. Uh-huh. A wild pig? Perfect. Thank you so much. And Jia Yu Guan. Oh, welcome as well. Antelope? Fantastic. Okay, great. Oh, that, I, didn't, I haven't even asked for this. They're just giving it to us. Okay, Lo Lan. Permit. Another antelope? Okay, great. Uh-huh. Okay, look at that. We've got some animals. We've got a wild pig and saiga antelope. Uh, is uh, Nuwa still in the city? Yes, but only contented. So let us give her maybe some lack away. Great. Stay in the city, please. Now, I'm gonna now just request... Well, we can't request from there. Uh, request... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It's, I'm pressing the wrong button. This one. Now... Request animal from Kashgar. I don't know what they have, but I'm just going to request an animal from everyone. Even if they don't really like me. Oh, if they don't really like me, I can't request an animal. That's fine. These guys are respectful, don't like me enough. Okay, Fusho. No, okay. Yin. No, okay. These guys just don't like me enough. So they need to be helpful or congenial, I guess. Hey, Shang New Empire? No, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll have to get them a little bit happier, I think. But anyway, I've got this little housing area going now as well with this market, grabbing all sorts of good stuff. Uh, is it the new year yet? It's November now. So last year we only produced 16 reams of paper. Employees needed? Oh, we've actually restabilized. What is this? Let me guess. Oh, Acrobat. Our... Hmm. I do actually need to boost up some things here. Can I just use this space for some music and performances? That'll be fine, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, this mission, it's tough. You know, for design, I'm gonna hook that road up there as well. That looks nice, okay. These blocks at least look very nice when they stay evolved. Hemp supply seems to be somewhat stabilizing. I just really need to cut back on how much paper we're producing. 
uh, to stabilize that further. These people will move in. That will stabilize the employees. I can drop our wages soon. Is this actually starting? Oh, this has actually started. Now we just need laborers. Okay. So we can now put down some labor camps. If we can just find some good feng shui for these. Uh, somewhere. That's one. We'll just keep these road blocked off. I think I can fit one here. Okay. Road block there as well. Okay. Ah, oh, so we can get some dirt going. This project is going to be the death of me. It is a big one. 36 loads of dirt, that's fine. Okay. So I think everything generally is going not bad. Nuwa is still in the city. And a Gobi Bear from Kashgar, yes, okay, and uh, great, two Gobi Bears, okay, so that means we got four animals, okay, we're halfway there, so that's fine, that's fine, we'll just try to get more of the neighbors happy, and look at these, these are evolving, they need a peel, oh, Buddhist buildings, you know, sure, you guys can have a Buddhist shrine, and uh, maybe not a Buddhist, Buddhist pagoda. It looks nice, look at that. That's something I've never seen before. And I guess we can just be a little basic on this. Just gardens in the middle, it's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so you can see here I just built one little clay pit here, which I can now destroy and I don't need this road anymore. I just needed one unit of clay because looking at uh, the uh, monument requirements here, it says one clay for the ceremony. I assume it's for the roof. So this monument is actually not that hard. We've imported the stone we need. We only need 15 stone. I imported 16 wood, dirt. So all the resources are already in. Also, uh, there's a p money printer on this. I went to the administration tab and the treasury where the mint is. Money printer is here and it turns mon paper into money. Which I guess is maybe more efficient than selling it. How much does it sell for? 125. And we are selling almost max of that. Uh, we're actually using up all of our hemp and all of our paper. That's We're not stockpiling any paper. Suddenly, a resource that was always way, way overstocked. Well, it's just... We don't have enough of it anymore. This, this hemp. But anyway, can I drop this to normal? No, 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 not yet. Stay on high. Uh, but I've also been told that this money printer is not supposed to be here. Like, it's a bug that it's not supposed to be available on this mission. But either way, I'm gonna use it. This has fully evolved as well. And also, um, I'm just looking at other things we can place down under the aesthetics and the recreational areas. There's a Tai Chi park, which I kind of want to place down. And I do want it for this area here. It's, uh... But I don't know how to make it look good. I think I just put it here, right? Ah, uh, look at that. They're all doing like nice little Tai Chi. It's a bit weird. It's sort of... Maybe if I surrounded by gardens? No, that looks kind of weird as well. Is there a way I can make this look decent? Surround it with trees? Maybe surround it with trees. That might work. If I just do this... And I do peach... And it's just got to have, you know, for aesthetics, I'm just going to make them all cherry trees. Because of these rocks, there's feng shui issues. So I'm just going to surround this with cherry trees. Look at that. Wouldn't you want to be in this park? That's just so nice. That's just so nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, and look, I put one of these as well. The these pond with bridge things. That uh, The gardens in this game don't look the nicest, but when you mix things up, it looks really good. Jia Yuguan buys more wood. Oh, they buy wood? Ah, oh, well, we're not producing that anyway. This road here is getting a lot of use, though. Good thing I built it. Uh, musicians and acrobats seem to have stabilized. Right? I think we... There's no performers here. Really? Do we just need, like... There's no performers here, either. Really? We just need to... I don't know, we just need, like, lots of those. I guess I put down more music schools. Like, just double up the music schools, I guess. And maybe more acrobat schools. Can I fit these anywhere? 
can't really fit an acrobat school here, but let's at least try to get the music going, yeah? Okay, so this temple is going along quite nicely, and look at this, I found a new way to decorate it, surrounding it with little circles of grey stone. Uh, that probably will look nice eventually. Now, uh, I was also looking at uh, the Buddhist stuff, and Buddhist Pagoda, look at this, oh, it's such a huge thing, and I think it needs stones, so this Tai Chi Park, sorry, you, you cannot go there. Buddhist Pagoda, really? The feng shui, no. Well, I guess... Why did these devolve? They don't have access to Confucian Academy. Oh, the Confucian Academy still needs wood! Guys, I did not... Why aren't you using... Why aren't you using paper as well? Confucian Academy? Behind the times, why are these acrobats? Okay, we're just... Acrobats are like... There are not enough acrobats in this school. I gotta, I gotta bump up the supply of acrobats. So I think I just m extend this road out a bit. So I can do that. That's not touching there, yeah, okay. Entertainment, acrobat school. Oh, this is, this is so, maybe those trees are an issue? Yeah, don't chop those trees. Let's boost up the acrobats. What was that? Who? What? Is there a raging panda? There is a raging panda. Okay, now this, uh... All oh, right, I just sent a ton of silk to Fu Shou. Do you like agreeable? You know, have more silk. Have so much silk. We, we're producing way too much silk. Now this. How do I solve this problem? It likes rocks. But none of... Oh. Really? Well... Maybe it doesn't have to be so functional? Maybe if I just build it on its own, like this. This building needs access to a road. So we can have... Maybe we could make it sort of... decorative in a way this can hook up to there and I can do that does this send out a walker a Buddhist monk is making sure his head is clean-shaven oh okay they this doesn't need anything so I guess this is open to religious devotees it might cause a little issue with this but it should be okay and then I just need to have an inspector's tower around the back to make sure it doesn't collapse. Oh, that, that messes up that road there. This is now an intersection. Unless I do that, and then move the thing there. And do this. And then put a grand way there? Okay, that works. Hey, I figured it out. Fantastic. But this looks amazing. This this pagoda. By the way, I live in Malaysia. We've got these as well. It's, it's actually quite impressive when you see them in real life. Anyway, that should unlock Guan Yin. And you know, I think we want Guan Yin in our city. Because, oh, that... I gave her silk and she didn't care at all. Guan Yin did not care at all about that. Okay, I gotta find out what makes Guan Yin happy. Because uh, the only thing that could upset us now is us being invaded. We have a lot of troops, but if I could just pay people off, it would be better. And she halves the amount that people are paid off. Four stacks of wood and carpenters. This is going along fine, by the way. That's gonna look magnificent once it's done. Everything else seems to be stabilizing. Yep, yep. So we should be able to keep on going. We just need more animals. Fusho is gonna like us soon. Um, maybe we could just start... We do have a big surplus of wheat as well. Maybe I could just start getting some surplus of things. Why? Oh, wait. Does that not... Really? Really, the inspector is 
that. Well, that's lucky. I guess I'm gonna move this here. Set this to accepting silk. And set this to emptying silk. Okay, just put that there. Thank you. No, okay, you're just gonna send it off. Okay, whatever. Whatever! Hey, would you look at that? The temple complex is getting along now. Look at that. It, is it almost done? The stone has not been used yet, but uh, it just needs four wood, 15 stone, one clay. Well, we have enough wood so we can get rid of that. The one clay and all of that is then the, the workshops are in. Does it need any more dirt or anything? No, all the dirt has been delivered as well. So we can drop our wage rates here. Well, I guess I'll leave the work camps. We can now get rid of that, okay. And also, uh, I realized we need Buddhist shrines and coverage for gods to care about our gifts, so... Uh, oh, there's no hero in the city. How long was she here? Oh, 42 months. Perfect. So we don't have to think about that anymore. But I want to get Guan Yin happy. So let me just check. Is it? No, it's Buddhism. And, oh right, I requested for a tiger. Thank you for that. So coverage is now, should be, 100%. Needs more workers. Wow. Close to Nirvana. See that on my Yelp review? Okay, now we need uh, two workers needed, so we just get rid of that. We can clear this off. Perfect. Allowing me to continue my decorations. Not all the way around quite yet. Uh, okay. So we do need animals, and I also wanted to get Guan Yin happy to make sure it's possible to keep her happy. So let me just give her 10 bolts of silk. Exalted, yes. Guan Yin, come on down. If uh, we do get invaded, we should be able to bribe them. That's such a good ability, actually. Uh, everything else she does doesn't really matter. Uh, now, also, we are continuing this. Bam, look at this. Stargate SG-1. Uh, what was that? Uh, flood. There's still floods on this! Well, okay, are we, are we, are we that lucky? Are we that lucky? <laughs> oh, guys, look at this. We just lost some buildings down here. Even the market's fine. Look at this. Yeah, sure, keep printing money. We, we're just a waterfront property now. It's no problem. Guys, we are that lucky. Okay, I know this road loop is a little messed up right now, and you're like... The appeal has gone down. There are floodwaters outside my front door. You know, it's it's not too nice. It's not that nice. So, you know, it's okay. It's fine. Government will build a garden across the road from you. Uh, which is not quite enough, but it's fine. So, tax office, well, acupuncturist, herbalist, ancestral shrine. No problem. No problem. Uh, so... What was it? Tax office, which can I actually go there? That's actually more efficient. Tax office. Well. Uh, ancestral shrine. Herbalist stall. And acupuncturist. Was that it? I guess that's it. Okay. This is... Lost access to ancestral shrine. Look, it was just destroyed. And Jiayu Guan? Sure. A pheasant! Oh, thank you so much, Jiayu Guan. And, oh, Guan Yin arrives. Let's have a look at Guan Yin. As the goddess of mercy, I hear their cries and am filled with compassion. Player's hero. <laughs> As the goddess of mercy, okay, I hear um, their cries and am filled with compassion. You can bless wells, right, and supply water. It's kind of weird, but... Well, you're just here now. So, okay. I, if we get invaded, we'll bring her into the city. And also, by the way, put this Tai Chi Park. Look how perfectly it fits now. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, yeah, if we start... If an invasion comes along the way, I will just call her down and bribe the enemy. But look how many troops we have. We might actually just be able to hold them off if we so desire. And is this almost done? This Ceramist is just laying roof tiles here. Which, uh, I think, like, there's... 
is pretty much done, right? Do we still need a Carpenter's Guild? I'm not sure. So what, uh, what else is left to do? Money? We're almost at the money target as well. How many animals do we have? Five. Okay. So I guess we can just... Uh, you're still agreeable. Maybe you have a second animal? Oh, you don't like us that much. Okay, let's give a gift. We'll give you more silk. Sure, large gift. We have so much extra silk, we could sell it to them, but we don't need it. Okay, so we're gonna just try request for more animals from places. We got another one from Jiayu Guan. Maybe I could... No, it's the same region, isn't it? Is it? Maybe I'll just try request another... Oh. Since when does it actually say favor too low to request? Really? Is this a bug? Is this not supposed to show? Well, all right. Oh, the roof is complete though. We just need stacks of wood. So yeah, the this is the final stacks of wood. And then I think we just need to put in the stone and we should be done with the temple. All right. Okay, this next section has started and it is just the stone, I think. I'm gonna complete my decorations of this. Once this stone is pretty much delivered, I put down some more masons and I missed... Yeah, I gave us two months notice to get, send ten reams of paper to Chengdu. And, okay, they like the silk. We can just finish our decorations here, I think. Oh, look at that. They're building a, a wall. I'm gonna finish my circles here as well. So, our decoration of this looks different and unique. What do you think? What do you think of uh, the row of circles? There we go. We do have all the stone we need, so we're just rushing through with the masons. I put down more masons. How's our employment? 22 unemployed, perfect. Plenty of silk going around. Guanyin is still in the city. Just, just hanging out. Look how pretty this looks. Look how pretty this looks. If I just fill these little gaps with gardens, right? Look, just look at this little bit right here. This is probably the prettiest part of the city with the pagoda. These houses have re-evolved as well. Oh, it's so nice, it's so nice. We're only 10,000 off from our target money as well. We need, what, 85,000? And the menagerie animals. So I did just send lots of Gobi bears to the south. Oh, there we go. They're getting the Gobi bears, yes, yes. And we sent tigers to the north. And... Oh, it doesn't have road access, really? Because of that? Okay, there we go. Now you got road access. <laughs> oh, I accidentally blocked off road access with that. Okay, that, that's fine. Um, we can't open this up to monument the workers. Are required at the construction site. Yes, yes. Uh, continue building this wall. And then I assume the middle will be filled up with some magnificent gardens. And this could look real nice, right? Oh, would you look at that, an earthquake? Now, this is a scripted earthquake, I'm pretty sure. So, as we know, earthquakes in this game are super buggy. What you want to do is you want to look away from everything and slow the game down. Uh, because the faster the game speed and the more you scroll around, the more stuff gets destroyed. Don't ask me why, they, they must have tied the earthquake mechanics to the game speed or something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow the game down and just tuck our screen off in a corner, maybe down here somewhere. So let's try, let's try. I have saved recently, this is very buggy, but let's slow things down and try to... No, 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 not now. Guangzhou, okay. Um, sure, what is it? An alligator? Okay, thank you so much for that. Okay, okay. No, okay, no. What? Why now? Why now? Chiao Shu? Okay. Alligator? Okay. Is there another one coming in? Okay, yes. Pheasant? Okay. Maybe... <laughs> Look, this is, this is very stressful. Okay. Jia Yuguan? Okay. A vulture? Thank you so much. Okay, maybe now? Maybe, is that all? No, 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 another one. Okay, permit, okay. A pheasant, okay. Is that the last one? Okay, maybe, maybe not. No, 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 there's another, Fuzhou, okay. Alligator, okay, thank you, okay. 
No, no, another one. This is Lolan. Okay, thank you, Vulture. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Okay, slow the game down and look at as little as possible. And now we wait. We just let the earthquake run. And I'm not sure if things have already been destroyed. I'm looking at the map and there's like a lot of black on the screen. And that might be a problem. Right? See that? If it's not too bad, it's gonna be fine. Uh, don't move. Uh, look, earthquakes in this game are really weird. If you want to test, just wait until an earthquake and then speed up the game and then look around your city. I can't quite tell. Is the earthquake over? Okay, how bad is it? That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. You know, I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna reload to just before and see if we can avoid that problem, right? We're just gonna see and do a little test. Okay, so after a little bit of testing, it seems on this map, the damage is scripted, unlike before where the damage was really dependent on how much we looked around. <laughs> so it seems like the amount of damage on this map has been fixed. So it shouldn't matter whether I'm looking at the city or with the game slowed down or anything. But just in case I am keeping the game slowed down, the earthquake should hit any second now along with all the animals. So I think I will just uh, let the earthquake hit. The monument is almost done, so we should be able to uh, clean that up pretty quickly. Here we go. There's the earthquake. I'm just gonna press OK. Permit, accept, yep, 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 permit, accept, yep. Okay, I'm just gonna let this run. It shouldn't matter. It should do the exact same amount of damage as before, which is different behavior from the previous mission. So there we go. It takes off a bunch of my primary block, which it always seems to hit the right side. I do wonder how the earthquake calculates these building hits, right? It seems to primarily hit houses, which are which are the worst targets. Okay, that's fine. And there is a soldier walking on that road, and that is not supposed to happen. Really? Why is there a soldier here? I thought it was a spy. And then it hits half of the second block and some of my production facilities. Right? So yeah, it's pretty much the same amount of damage everywhere. What we do is we just raise up wage rates, take out these things, because we don't need those. What were these? Weaver, weaver, weaver. Okay, we'll replace the weavers soon. These were paper makers. And these were all just houses, right? See, it definitely targets the houses because it didn't touch the herbalist stall on the side. So it is scripted to hit specific types of buildings. So I think the only way to know is to actually check the scripting in the back, right? But okay, let's just bring these people back home. Oh, missed a few of that. Okay. House, 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 house. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long to, to bring back up to snuff. Oh, it took out two of these as well. Okay, that's a little annoying. But no biggie. Okay. There, 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 there. Couple of houses down here. Good thing I built another housing block here. Rebuild those. Uh, the paper makers, artisan paper maker, one, two, okay, and the weavers, which I guess we don't need, but we lost three weavers, right? I think we lost three weavers. Uh, do we need, uh, we might need a bit more stone, right? Do we have all the resources we need? Oh, we do need one more stone, so I can't destroy that quite yet. Is there anything else I can, oh, what was this? A logging shed got hit, so let us replace that. That's kind of important. 
no, no. Raw material, logging shed. Okay, that's for the Confucian Academy. Pagoda's fine. And I think... Short by 486 workers is pretty intense. I think I just wait before I rebuild the industry. Paper and three weavers. Yeah, and I think I temporarily turn off all of these. These are 12 each. Yeah, so we turn off half of those. Those aren't the worst. Turn off some of these farms. Yeah, because food, there's plenty of supply. So if I turn off the farms, I'll leave one running so I don't forget. Uh, what else can we turn off? I guess it's fine. We just gotta make sure we've prioritized the right thing and everything is still running, right? Yeah. We could deprioritize military. That's not so important. That's 192 of that. So that should be fine. Yeah. And as people move back in, it'll be fine. Okay. So military is just temporarily turned off, which does include the weaponsmiths. And that's 200 people. So we're actually only short by like 134. All right, I was late on the paper. And sure, we can have a new year. <laughs> uh, okay. And also, looking at our stuff here, should I prioritize monuments? Yeah, just prioritize the monuments to make sure that keeps going. Okay. That's fine. This, uh, yeah, let's just celebrate. Yeah, half the people in the city died. It's okay. Eat some uh, seasoned stuffed buns and flavored crispy noodles along with flavored fried wontons. And meat fried rice, all delicious food. Have fun. Look how many performers we have. Distract yourself from the disaster and the despair. <laughs> Alright, people should be moving back in though, right? Where do people come from? This side? Yeah, there we go. I feel uneasy about moving to a new city. You worry too much. Ah, okay, okay. I think we'll prosper here. Foreign emissary? Permit. Oh, right, we got all of these. A vulture as well? Yeah, okay, thank you for that. Do we have the animals? We have all the Well, we have all but one of the animals. Which one are we missing? Pig, pheasant, saigon, salamander. We don't have a salamander, but that's enough, right? We do actually have the eight animals needed. Look at that tiger chilling out there. Is that the vulture? It's hard to actually tell. What is this? Fu Zhou considers you a worthy opponent and you, you have earned my respect for the time being at least. What does that even mean? Docile? Oh, they will swear fealty provided that your military is stronger than his. Oh, Xiongnu Empire is catching up to us. Huh. Well, okay. Either way, we need another 12,000 strings of cash. These houses are gonna move back in. Ooh, missed a couple here. There we go. Uh, this is down to 300. So we're just short by 100 workers because keep in mind, military is 200. I mean, all these forts and stuff. And we did turn off a bunch of stuff. So once people start moving back in, I'll turn the stuff back on and then it should be good to go. We're just waiting for the masons to slowly build this wall. Guys, would you look at that? The temple complex has been completed. Look at these gardens. Look at this wall and look at these arches I've put outside. This magnificent temple complex is a marvelous monument to the industriousness and piety of our people. Ah, oh, look at that, look at that. This is quite a joyous occasion. The most harmonious temple complex has been completed. You'll be remembered by Nuwa, the creator goddess, for this great accomplishment. Those are some nice gardens. Uh, is that the same grass texture they use on this? It is, I think. It's a little greener, actually. Ah, it's a little greener because this temple has slightly better upkeep. Anyway, that's complete and we win. Oh, wow, look at that. Luoyang's beautiful new temple complex provides its citizens an ideal place to worship and meditate. And the city has been justly rewarded by many blessings. Speaking of rewards, the emperor is quite pleased with his impressive menagerie. Although some of the animal squawks are keeping him awake at nights. Uh, would you look at that, the budding of Buddhism. And let's look at this score. Month's penalty, not too bad, not too bad. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. 
So that's gonna be the end of Lo Yang, and I'm pretty sure this is the end of the Han Dynasty. So if I press proceed here, we should be greeted with a completion of the dynasty window. Let's have a look. There we go. The Han Dynasty has truly been a glorious time for Chinese people and the development of their culture. Heroic leaders and great cities have flourished, but like all good things, it has at long last come to an end. In the year 184, the revolt of the Yellow Turbans, a band of rebels 300,000 strong, was crushed only after much bloodshed. A short five years later, however, palace eunuchs murdered an imperial general and took the emperor hostage. The subsequent massacre of the eunuchs was inevitable, but with their passing, the effectiveness of the dynasty was at an end. Finally, the year 220 witnessed the abdication of Xian Di, the last Han emperor, with it, the empire has been split into three kingdoms, each claiming to be a legitimate heir to the Han throne. Alright, so there we go. That is the end and conclusion to the Han Dynasty. Ah, Alright, well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining us here on Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom, getting through the Han Dynasty, and well, there's much more to go. We've just discovered paper and those uh, elite housing keep asking for tea. And I'm hoping to see tea soon. But all right, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.